Welcome to Buckeyes Tomorrow Morning for Friday, May 24th. I'm your host, Tom Moore. The Akron game in 99 days. The game against Michigan in 190 days. This has been a very busy month in the college football TV world. Lots of news, lots of rumors, lots of interesting stuff coming in a season full of new and exciting things. Some of the TV coverage is going to be new and exciting as well. So this is a show I've been looking forward to for several weeks now as some of this news has started percolating out. Bringing on Matt Sars from MattSarsSports.com, the leading expert in terms of all the fun, nitty gritty minutia around TV. When we want it, you know, when we get asked on our board, you know, hey, what time is the Ohio State Oregon game going to be? We look at what what does Matt Sars say? Because Matt Sars is the leading expert in all of this stuff, and someone we've had on the show a number of times before. Matt, welcome back. Let's just start this time with just run through. There's some new. New lineups this year in the Big Ten, not nearly as big of a change as last year, but just can you run through what we know about which networks are going to be televising Big Ten games this year and, you know, when those games are going to be on? Sure, and thanks for thanks for having me on again, Tom. Uh, the partners are essentially the same as last year. Fox, NBC, CBS, FS1, Peacock, and Big Ten Network. CBS will now have, instead of uh, being kind of piecemeal throughout 2023, they will have a regular window every week at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's due to their SEC contract ending and that content going to uh, Disney Networks. NBC will be 7.30 nearly each week. There will be a couple weeks that are known that uh, Notre Dame will have a game in prime time. After that, Fox should typically be at noon. A uh, little bit unclear on week one. We, I think we'll we'll talk about that a little bit later. Beyond that, FS1, Big Ten Network, Peacock, they're kind of the second tier of partners. And the belief when we look at, for example, what Fox just released yesterday with their Friday night football schedule, is that some of the selections that Fox made for those Friday night games came from that second tier. The belief is they these were games that likely Fox wouldn't earmark for Big Noon on a Saturday. But these are games that they targeted that, hey, are you willing to move for uh, some nice exposure on a Friday night? And you know these, these uh, games were picked and moved and giving up uh, you know, some schools, some nice needed exposure that they may not get otherwise. And also, from what I saw, too, they're, they're showcasing a fair amount of the four new additions, uh, Washington, Oregon, USC, and UCLA, and getting those schools uh, a game on Fox that they may not otherwise get because of their location. And really, they can't host a big noon game you know, at, at 12 Eastern. All right. So now let's I wanted to talk a little bit about the selection process. People may have heard a little bit about the draft that the networks do. And, you know, I think everyone probably most people know Fox gets the first overall pick in that draft. And this is a draft of they draft weeks. They're not just picking. I want this game. They're saying I want the first pick of this week uh, of all the games this week. I want the first pick of the Big Ten games that week. So that's an important distinction to draw here. And, you know, I have. Tony Gerdeman and I sat down with uh, one of the executives last year at the Big Ten Media Days and tried to come at him from about 17 different ways. And it was just the two of us sitting with him for about 15 minutes and trying to get any information we could. And it just wouldn't talk about it, wouldn't talk about it, can't talk about it, wouldn't talk about it. However, with all that selection around the selection, secrecy around the selection process, I think we may be about to learn a lot more about that selection process because. Just like the NFL draft, the networks made a trade and networks traded draft picks during this draft this year, which means I think at some point we might be able to put a lot more of the pieces together. So can you explain a little bit about that trade and then what we might be able to glean from that, whether that's weeks or months down the road? Sure. Uh, on a podcast earlier this week, for those who haven't heard it, uh, Fox Sports, uh, Joel Clapp, their lead analyst for their big noon game had Mike Mulvihill, who is one of their uh, vice presidents, uh, really big in analytics and research. 
uh, Mike revealed that they had chosen Ohio State, Michigan. Well, I should say week 13 at noon as their first choice, which ends up being Ohio State, Michigan. They then chose uh, Texas at Michigan uh, or noon on September 7th. And you could, they also announced Alabama at Wisconsin on the fourth, on September 14th at noon. It appears that wasn't the third choice, though. They revealed that they had the third choice and elected to uh, trade with another network, which they did not divulge. And instead, ended up with what appears to be the first choice on November 2nd and another first choice somewhere else in what appears to be the top seven. And I believe Mike mentioned that Fox has like five of the first in this draft, anyways, five of the first seven number one picks. So it looks, and they they talked about how they they looked at Ohio State Oregon heavily, and they they could not play it at noon at Eastern because it's out in Eugene, and they would have had to adjust their marketing around the concept of Big Noon if it was played at three thirty or potentially later in the day. So they ended up trading the pick. It looks like they've they've earmarked November second, which is Ohio State Penn State, and also I believe Oregon Michigan as their potential two choices that day with uh, this pick that they've they've chosen, and that whichever network gets Ohio State Oregon is going to get it in a a very good window, either three thirty Eastern or seven thirty Eastern. And it's something that that network, whenever they decide to announce anything about it, will be able to promote heavily. So, all right, you just, you, a tremendous tease there. You just talked about the Ohio State Penn State game and the fact that that's Fox as the first pick, but also that's Michigan Oregon week. So, that's depending on how the season plays out, Ohio State Penn State might not be the first game picked that week. But then you also have Ohio State Oregon. And you didn't say it, I don't think, directly there, but we don't actually know which network traded with Fox to get the Ohio State Oregon week. That's week seven. So I, I'm sure people right now are going, well, okay, what do you think? What, which is Ohio State Oregon going to be on CBS at 3.30? Is it going to be a night game on NBC? Ohio State, Penn State? What, you know, that one I think is even more, a little, a little more unfair because we're sort of asking you to say, okay, what are they going to decide to do with all the information that they're going to have after eight weeks of the season? So with the understanding that these are both very unfair questions to ask you, uh, Matt, when is the Ohio State Oregon game going to air on week seven? And when is the Ohio State Penn State game going to air week 10? Uh, when I did my initial guesses uh, kind of across the season, thinking like, what are the, the top three games that Fox would choose? I, I actually lumped Alabama, Wisconsin into it. And I figured at that point, you know, CBS would look like a really good choice for uh, Ohio State, Oregon on in, in mid October, and then Ohio State, Penn State would fit would have fit really well for NBC because Penn State likes their whiteouts, and it would have been a night game, and it would have fit right in with what NBC you know has for their package. So I, I kind of leaned into that at the time, knowing now that. Ohio State, Penn State still could end up on Fox that they they own the top choice and, and they they went into some details with respect to political advertising is is why they they went with uh, looking at that week as a top choice. Uh, I think that one will be at noon. I you know provided everything shakes out you know and Ohio State and Penn State are on that collision course for uh, either being undefeated or maybe one of the teams has a lot a loss. Uh, I think they'll look at, you know, Fox will look at that as the big noon. And I, I think CBS in the end will be looking at the uh, the Ohio State Oregon game. I think NBC will have some great choices along the way. It's so interesting. A, a, a year or two ago when I had you on, we were talking about 
some pit game and you know the time of the pit game was going to be impacted by the fact that the Pittsburgh Pirates were playing a game that day at home as well and they shared parking she garages. Wasn't. <laughs> it, <Yeah. laughs> when the, when everything came out I I looked I remember talking about that and then I looked I'm like they they totally went against everything I said. <laughs> yeah. Well, and but now now you're there you know Fox is making this decision decision based on political ads because of course that's the Saturday before the presidential election. And boy, if you have an audience of Penn State and Ohio State people, those are two swing states potentially in the election. So uh, you may want to buy tickets for that one. Otherwise, you're going to see a, a lot of, uh, you know, my name is so-and-so and I've uh, endorsed this ad. I approve this ad uh, on your TV. Uh, so that so there's those are both very interesting factors that could play into that. And with those with that game, if it doesn't it doesn't have to get announced immediately. Fox doesn't have to announce that it's big noon right now which means you could get into the season with Penn State unsure of, or is that going to be a whiteout or is it there? Are they just going to say it's a whiteout regardless, even if it's at noon, because they've typically done those just for night games. So another fun little dynamic there. I'm sure James Franklin will be thrilled about that. He was, he was, uh, he had lots of thoughts on the uh, whiteout thing. Uh, when we got to talk about big 10 media days a couple of years ago, when the Ohio state Penn state game was a noon game uh, that year. All right. A little peek behind the curtain. This conversation with Matt ended up going way longer than I thought it would because there is a ton of interesting stuff to talk about. So we're actually going to split this into two shows. You're going to get this one today kind of focused on the Ohio State side of things. Early next week, you're going to get the one talking kind of more big picture. ESPN, are they going after Fox in the noon window? Is Fox really trying to plant their flag on Friday nights? What's the deal with the college football playoff? TNT sub license from ESPN, a whole bunch of that fun stuff. We're going to be talking all about that with Matt. Uh, on a show early next week. So you'll get to, you can look forward to that over the holiday weekend. And while you were spending some time grilling and all of the fun stuff you're going to do over the holiday weekend, make sure you check out mattsarsports.com as well. That is an incredible resource. If you want to try and understand the TV business, he's got all the details in there about the contracts with the leagues and the different networks. And the, you know, this team has to appear on, you know, teams have to appear on this network so many times. There is a ton that goes into understanding this. We get a million questions about what time is the kickoff going to be for this game? And the answer is it's really complicated, but check Matt Sars because he is, he is the guy we check. You should check him there too at mattsarsports.com. Also make sure you check us out at buckeyehuddle.com. That'll do it for today. Thank you guys all for joining us. Have a great day. Enjoy the holiday weekend. We'll talk to you next week.